Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. We have realized our audience like our experience sharing videos a bit more. We will try our best to make more videos related to this type of topics. If you have any questions and doubts about flower making or craft related, please comment below and let us know. We will definitely reply your messages. We might even make individual videos to explain in details. Let's start with today's topic. Should I use 180 grams or 90 grams crepe paper to make paper flowers? Today we are going to make chrysanthemum with 180 gram pale pink crepe paper and 90 gram vintage pink crepe paper. We will use the same template for both flowers without adding additional colours. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our weekly tutorials. On your left, we have the 180 grams crepe paper and on your right, it is the 90 grams. For the 180 gram, you will notice there are some horizontal embossed lines on the paper. The texture or the creases on the paper is more rough. For the 90 gram, the texture is more refined. After stretching them, you can definitely feel the different paper weight between those two. 180 gram paper can hold in its shape better than the 90 grams. Let's start making our chrysanthemum with the 90 gram paper. Let's trim the paper according to the height of the templates. We will need between 3 to 4 strips of papers for each template. Give the paper a little stretch and fold the paper according to the template. You can do half of the paper, you don't need to fold the whole strip of paper. When you are cutting, make sure you do not cut the link at the bottom for attachment. You would like to link the whole piece together so we can attach the petals quickly. Keep doing so until you have finished all the papers. Now I am going to show you how we are going to fold the petals for attachment. Use a tweezer to fold all the petals close together. at the bottom to make them stay together. Don't forget to add a small amount of UV glue at the bottom to join the petals together. With a bit of adhesive, it's much easier to handle them. You can also curl the petal a little bit with your hand. You will also need to apply this step to all of the petal strips. a loop on the top. Then we can start attaching the petal rolls with hot glue. We start with the smallest to the biggest. Use the tweezers to curl and expand the petals irregularly. You can give the flower a more natural feeling.
the petals for twice so we can have a beautiful flower bottom at the end. Always add some hot glue at the bottom to support the whole structure if needed. Then we are going to finish the flower bottom with some small green leaves. Curl the leaves a bit and attach them with yuhu glue. bigger than the 180 gram. You can always adjust the size by using more or less petal strips. By looking at the petals, the 90 gram is much softer and the 180 is more rigid. They have a very different style. I think the 90 gram gives me a more natural feeling. But 180 gram is great for holding shape. So I think I will use different paper for different types of flower. 90 gram crepe paper, maybe for flower with heavy layering like peonies and roses. I will still use 180 gram for my day to day flower making. Comment below and let us know which paper do you prefer. I will also upload my 180 gram chrysanthemum work in progress later on. If you are interested, you can also check it out. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you will like it. I would also like to say thank you very much for my 200 plus subscribers. Your like, comment and share are our greatest support. If you like to make this chrysanthemum, all our templates are available on our Etsy store. Check them out. See you next week.